good fish too. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you've probably seen the mayhem that's been happening with bass and these little finesse frogs from Z-Man this season. I've done a couple of videos that detail exactly how to work them. But I've had a few questions about how to rig these things. So the tips that I've got for you are these. Have a look at how it's sitting really high on the hook. So you only need the Z-Man elastic stuff. You only need a tiny little bit of that nipped and you just want to grab it in the bottom. If people are hooking it a bit deeper, it's going to pull the frog down. If you're using fluorocarbon leader, it's going to pull your frog down. It's not going to swim across the surface properly. So a mono leader, and I'm using like six or eight pound, and then a tiny little nip of the bottom of the frog is the way that you want to go on a little 1-0 finesse hook. Okay, so you can use like a finesse hooks or a, uh, you can use the Gemagatsu EWGs. Owner do a really good one as well that's super sharp. The hook up rate with these things is great if you get the hook, uh, the rigging right. And the other thing that I'll do, I'm not sure if you can see that tiny little bit of plastic that I just push onto the hook and then sit it under the uh, chin of the frog. And it's just a little bit of cut plastic from a lure packet tiny little square and that just holds the frog up because when you're fishing these things hard and skip, skipping them hard in against the bank all the time they'll start to loosen up a bit and sometimes the little frog will want to slide down and foul up but if you do those three things so the little chin uh, plastic rig it just through the bottom bottom of the chin of the uh, frog and then run a finesse hook a really light gauge 1-0 you'll get much better action and repeatability out of your little Z-Man finesse frogs. There's some tips on how you should be rigging them. And if you want more tips or some other lures reviewed that you really want to see working and how I'd like to use them, make sure you comment in the section below and subscribe to my channel. I've got new stuff coming all the time. Oh, that is so cool to see such a great big wild bass. He's well over the 40. He's come across the shallows. I saw a hit in here about five minutes ago. Oh and he screamed across. Such a ballsy cast because it's only about six inches right the way across and it's all rock and heavy weed. Oh, this belter. Come here, mate. And on one of my confidence baits. Yeah, there you go. What a beauty.